Hello everyone, this is Jack Ravi and this is my first um, tag made for the Tag Team Friday. In this video I will show you how to create a small tag using a mini envelope, a DG people and a pressed flower. I'm going to show you one way of doing this but of course the possibilities are really endless here and you can have massive bouquets of flowers and um, you can have just flowers coming out of the envelopes and hopefully have some fun with it. So to make this tag you will need um, a piece of card which is going to be your main tag. Um, I have printed this book cover. You will find this book cover in the red and green ephemera bundle. Of course you can use any card. This is printed on 300 GSM uh, paper. Then you will need um, a mini envelope. So there will be many available already on the website. So this one is available. This one is from the uh, pink and grey uh, printable. I will not be using this one. I wanted something that was more plain. So I will be using this um, paper. This is from the blank paper ephemera. What I did is I double sided um, the print so that I can have something on the reverse. So this is from the script ephemera bundle. Uh, so that when I cut it then I already have the envelope lined um, with something different. There are many sizes available so if you want to print something that's already prepared there's loads to choose from. You will also need a little print from the Digi people. This is from the um, the first bundle and I wanted it to be sort of slightly bigger than the, um, the, the main height of the envelope. I usually prepare the Digi people on a sort of creamy background which makes the fussy cutting a little bit more forgiving if you if you miss something and you don't have a bright white um, strip around it. You will also need some pressed flowers. Uh, they will need to be small um, but you could also go massive and have a very exaggerated flower. Um, then you will need a ruler, one with a metal edge so that you can use a cutter. I have a, I have a craft tool, um, a, a sharper cutter, scissors, I have a glue stick and um, I'll be using like a dot of Mod Podge just to glue the flower and then any ribbon that you want to attach um, and I have a little tiny ring that I will tie it with. I think this is everything. Let's get started. Right, so first I'm going to prepare the tag. I'm just going to cut it to size. Then I'm going to glue them together. Just using the glue stick. That should be enough. If there are any white strips, I can just trim them. And I cut a corner. And use it as a guide to cut the other corner. Then I find the middle. mark it so I can punch a hole and that's the main tag ready now on to making the envelope you can use this one as a template so what I will do is I will fold it the camera I think didn't record the cutting but anyway I folded it and I cut them together so that I have two envelopes I will not be using this one 
we'll be using this one. What we do next is, um, this is the outside, this is the inside of the envelope. So I take my roller and I go from edge to edge. Fold along the line. I have a scoring pad, if you have one you can use that. I don't think it's necessary here. Just going to take my glue stick, just put a thin line on this edge, thin line on the other edge, and that's it. I'm using the roller inside so that it adds a little bit of bulk to the inside. And that's our envelope. Now, I like to wrap a little graphite to the fold. And it makes it a bit more realistic and it makes it stand out a bit more. I'm not a big fan of inking, but if you do, this is definitely a place where you want to do a little bit of ink. And that's it. This is our envelope that will be glued onto the tag. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out the silhouette of the little girl. I think rather than being fully contained in the envelope, I think it's nice that it comes out a little bit, maybe like that. That would be a good place to position it. I'm just going to go ahead and glue it there. Glue the envelope on the tag. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the flower. Play around until you find a position that you like, a flower that works. You could also add more flowers, you could make a little bouquet um, or have more leaves. So I'm going to take my Mod Podge and literally just dab my finger You may want to use tweezers, craft tweezers, if this is a bit tricky. I'm just going to give it a gentle press, just to make sure that the flower is sticking to the envelope. The next thing I'm going to do is add a little ribbon. So this is just a scrap of, I believe it's silk, but anything goes. Um, you could use ribbon, you can use... Um, Loss. I was going to add a ring, but I think this is not going to go anywhere. It's quite thick, so I think I'm just going to leave it. And this is the final tag. Thank you for watching.